the opportunity as Gentiles. He gave us the gift that he had given the Jews first, his chosen people. He gave them salvation, but they didn't want it. They began to kick against God. God blessed them with this. God blessed them with that. But they didn't want it. So God gave the salvation unto us. Gift and calling is without repentance. Salvation is a calling. It's the greatest calling that any man could ever need. Amen? Let's go to... Um, Verse 29, and it reads, For the gift and callings of God are without repentance. This tells me two things. One, that the gift and the callings belongs to God. They're not ours. They belong to him. We are just the vessels carrying and having these gifts and callings. So we should get, we should get excited about having them. They're of God. But what we should be excited about is salvation, about repenting, about coming to Jesus. Amen? Amen. Y'all with me tonight? Amen. I kind of got off course a little bit because we was in prayer for, for a minute, but we're going to get this ball on the road. Okay, let's go to chapter 2. Chapter 12, I'm sorry, the same book. The gifts and callings of God are without repentance. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies in living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. He called us to present our bodies a certain way. That's a calling. Amen. A living sacrifice. Your presentation should say Jesus. Your body was once an instrument of sin. Now it is to be presented to God as a channel through which the rights of God is manifested. This is holy and acceptable unto God. Making yourself a living sacrifice. Amen. Amen. That's a calling. He's calling us to be set apart. He calls us to be sanctified, and he also calls us to live holy. Amen? And verse 2 says, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Be not conformed to this world. Stop conforming yourselves. Don't be poor into the mold of this present thinking, value system, and conduct of this world. 1 Peter 1 and 14 through 16 says, Don't fashion yourselves according to the form of lust in your ignorance, but as which have called you is holy. So be ye holy in our manner of conversation. Be ye holy. That's the greatest calling any man could ever have. Yes, he gave us different gifts. He gave some prophecy. He gave some apostleship. He gave some preachers. He gave some teachers. But the greatest calling is salvation on tonight. Amen? Amen. Verse 3 says, For I say, through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think solely according to as God has dealt to every man the measure of faith. Sister Or, the righteous of God will cause a believer to conduct himself in humility. Two things are pointed out here that some individuals face in their exercise of the spirit of their spiritual gifts. Sometimes we overestimate ourselves and try to exercise the gift of God never gave us, or we underestimate him and fail to exercise the gift God has given. God has given us specific gifts to enable him to do what God wants us to do. No one is excluded. Everyone has a measure, and yes, you can build upon it. Stay in your lane, y'all. Stay in your lane. If God called me to be a teacher, I should be wrong in trying to preach. Come on. I can tap into it sometime, but I haven't found it yet. Amen. <laughs> Verse 4. For as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office, 
So we being many are one body in Christ, and every one member one of another, having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us, whether prophecy, let us prophesy according to the portion of faith, or ministry, let us wait on our ministry, or he that teacheth on teaching, or he that exhorteth on exhortation, and he that giveth, let him do it with simplicity. He that ruled with diligence, he that showeth mercy with cheerfulness. Let love be without dissimulation, abhor that which is good and evil. Leave, plead to that which is good. Whatever God has equipped you to do, do just that. I have a gift to teach, but the gift of helps came first and hospitality. And some others that I tap into in Jesus' name. I called demons out in Jesus' name. I laid hands on people and they were healed in Jesus' name. But it was in his name that I did it. But my calling is to be saved tonight. Amen. My calling is to be sanctified tonight. If you have the gift of ministry, wait on it. Amen. If you have the gift to exhort, exhort. If you have the gift to be a giver, give. Don't try to get in nobody else's lane. Do what it is that God has called you to do. Amen. Okay. Let's go to Ephesians 4. The gifts and calling for God is without repentance. Ephesians 4. And it reads, I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you that ye walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called, with all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one spirit, even as are called into one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gifts of Christ. Paul urges us to walk worthy of our vocation. That means we are to live in the way of befitting and Fitting the divine call or invitation, which is first, salvation. In order for us to work effectively in our calling, we must be saved. And being saved, we must take God's attributes and his humbleness, his patience, and his long-suffering of God's love and loving one another. There is one body, like the Bible said. There's one spirit. The body is Christ. The, the Christian church, the one spirit is the Holy Ghost, the one hope is the only destination to God, one Lord, Jesus Christ, one faith, holiness. Be ye for I am, one baptism in Jesus' name, one God and Father of all. We can't do nothing without God. His back. His body. We didn't took on his back. We didn't took on his name. So we shouldn't try to do nothing out of his name. Amen. Let's go on to read verse 8. It says, Wherefore we he said, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts unto men. Now that he ascended, what is it but that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth? He had descended is the same also that ascended up for above all heavens, that he might fill all things. And he gave some apostles, and he gave some prophets, and he gave some evangelists, and he gave some pastors, and he gave some teachers. Therefore, there is a diversity within Christian unity. 
while the church is mourning, there are a variety